Okay, um, first I'm gonna show you the assets that I'm gonna use um, from my Gumroad. I'm gonna use some props from the sci-fi buildings. Also, you can use the hard surface kit bash for more details and this sci-fi decal pack. And I'm gonna use textures from ambientcg.com and textures.com. You'll find all the links in video description. Uh, the first step is to create the panels. So I'm gonna add a cube. Duplicate it with Shift D and hide it for now by pressing H. Now in the first cube, in edit mode, press I. Select individual and here in thickness we need a low value. And with face selection, press Ctrl I to invert and then press X and delete the faces. I'm gonna select these faces, right click and subdivide and I'm gonna increase to six cuts. Press double A to deselect with a selection. Go to select, select random and here you can increase or decrease the selection and also randomize it. Now hit Ctrl B to bevel the edges. We can hold Shift for more control and delete the faces. Now let's add a solidify modifier. And here we can enable only the rimp to get rid of the inner faces and use thickness to add depth to the panels. Now we need to unhide the cube, uh, press Alt H. Now apply the solidify modifier. Then in edit mode, select this tool. And I'm going to draw more panels here, just to add more details. I'm going to draw more panels. And we can also bevel some edges, just to give a different shape. For the windows, I just added some look cuts with Ctrl R and use the mouse wheel to increase the cuts. Now select the faces with Alt click, then I to insert and click individual. Now press Alt E and extrude faces along normals. Now for the materials, uh, here in the shader editor, uh, create the material and Shift A, add image texture. And connect to color. Now here select your texture. We need to set metallic to 1 and we can also connect to roughness Just add a color ramp Now with the sliders we can make it shiny or rough
Now I'm going to add a hue and saturation between color and texture. And I'm going to increase value to make it darker. And now in render properties, we need to enable ambient occlusion and screen space reflection. Also, uncheck half rest trace for better quality. If your model doesn't have UVs uh, in edit mode, press U and hit Q projection. Uh, for this cube, I use the same material, but for the windows, select the faces, create a new material and click on assign the textures that i'm using are from ambientcg.com and just download the textures now in blender select the shader and press ctrl shift t and select the color metallic and roughness now we can go to uv editing and here we can rotate, move, or scale the UVs. Now we have to add the emission texture manually. So duplicate a texture node and connect to emission. And now just increase emission strength. Now for the signs, I added a texture. Just make sure to connect the color to emission and use color strength for the brightness. And now we can join to the panels with Ctrl J. To import your texture, go to File, Import Images as Planes. If your texture has transparency, just go to Material Properties, under Settings, change Blend Mode to Alpha Hashed. Uh, but this is only for EV Render. For these neon signs, with Shift A, add a text, press Tab, and type your text. Create a material. Select the emission color. and increase the strength. Now here in render properties, enable bloom, but again, this is only for EV render. Uh, we don't have to do this for cycles. I also added some antennas. Uh, you can find them in the sci-fi buildings pack. Now to scatter the panels, I use Bagapai is easy to use, free, and we can get a good result. I'll leave the link in the description. So this is the mesh that I used. 
uh, this is where I scatter all the panels. So we only need a simple mesh for this. I'm gonna add a cube and apply the scale with Control A scale. Now hold Shift and select the panels, then the cube, and press J. Now click on Scatter. Here in Properties, we can adjust the distance. Also Density. And make sure to set Align Normal to 0. Uh, to see what I'm doing, I'm going to click this button in the modifier. Now in Edit Mode, I want to extrude some faces. Just extrude. And just make the shape that you want. Here in Properties, we can modify the scale just a little bit. Also, I didn't want the walls look so flat, so what I did is modify the position. Now, for the windows, we can also use Bagapai, but I wanted more control, so I placed them manually, but it's up to you. Also, I wanted some parts of the building look uh, more industrial, so I added some props. Uh, maybe you can find something from the hard surface kit bash, or you can use your own models. And for the pipes, we can also make them with Pagapai. Just select a surface, and again press J, click on pipes, and just draw the shape. And now adjust the properties as you need.